Welcome back to yet another video. This is uh, part 1.1 of uh, the Marengo Sports Club system. So in this uh, part, we are going to be discussing about uh, the documentation. This is the part 1 of the documentation part. So I promise that uh, we shall be tackling this project with the uh, steps, my images, so that uh, in each in each uh, part of the system that we construct, we make sure we have actually created the documentation part for it. So it does here. Let us start. So if you are new, be sure to check out the database part. The, so the part one, the overview of the system, the video will actually pin it on the top right of the, the screen. Also, I will leave, I'll leave a link in the description part so that uh, you can feel free to visit it and view before coming to this one. So it, uh, you must view that one so that uh, you understand the flow of how we shall be constructing the system. Okay, so let's begin. So for those who are new, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that uh, whenever I make the next upload, you'll be aware of it. You'll receive the notification. So let us go straight to it. So first we need a, I've created a folder. So here is the database part. So this time you're not needing the database, this time you're needing the documentation. So you can just create a folder. Then from there, create a new file, a new Microsoft Word file. Let me call it uh, just the normal way, Marengo Sports Club Documentation. Then open it. So in this part, we shall be tackling three key areas. So that is a uh, the table of content no the title page let me just uh, let me check first so here is the file um, actually let me retrieve it so here it is so in this part we shall be tackling the title page the declaration table of contents list of figures list of tables acknowledgement abbreviations and finally the dedication so that will be in this part one. So let us begin. So the first part is the title page. So the title page. The title page must include first the name of the system. That is Maringo Club System. Then from there, we shall include. A, let me make this double space. We shall include a, the name. So prepared by. So that is uh, the name of the candidate or the, the student. So let me just use, uh, let me use Biro. And we're using that one as the name to reference the name. From there, we need uh, the index number. So let me just use. Uh, random number like that one then you rename the school uh, let me just use that then from there uh, this actually is not uh, mandatory, but just cool to add submitted to. Submission date. So I'll be using, let me use today's date. So today is 28th of March 2023. So 20. Then uh, finally, here is a uh, uh, closing statement.
so that is our page one so let us quickly change it so that it looks a little bit better so first i insert a big brick so here is where we shall be tapping our second page which we just named it and now let us form a bison so that it looks a little bit good so i will highlight all these titles and uh, make them bold and also increase Center, we center the wall of uh, the wall of this. Let us make it to be in the center. Then I increase the size slightly. Change the height to small. Then uh, I will make this bold. Reduce the size a little bit. Like that, then uh, move it so that it will be on the bottom part of the page over there. Also, reduce uh, this size so we do the other part. Yeah, for this one. So. I forgot to add the spots here. Sticks Maringo spots by CC. That is our title page. So the title page is uh, complete. So I move on to the second part, which is, uh, which is uh, the dedication. Second part dedication. So. dedication but uh, declaration sorry so we need to edit it so that it will be header one then uh, we modify the header so that uh, it looks according first we just change the color to automatic make it bold and times new normal then increase the space so let's say that will be enough dedication here is a sample of a dedication so that uh, you can actually just pause the video then uh, copy this or uh, use this one as your template then uh, create your own so here is a sample so here is a sample let me just uh, copy instead of uh, writing which will take a long time. Let me just uh, do this. I have a template somewhere. So here it is. Uh, is it? Here it is. So here, I let us uh, use our uh, dummy name that you are using. So I join the here by declaring that this work is mine with the need to help of support of my computer studies teachers so you can add your teacher name here maybe if there are two i put a scenario of two then uh, my parents too will help by forgetting myself made it easier for me to complete this project thanks a lot the mighty god who gave me strength day in day up to the day to accomplish all this so 
this is a sample of a declaration of the declaration we are going with start a page break and move on to the next section which is a database platform the next section is a so title page is done uh, declaration is done so next is table of contents so table of contents is next so just insert uh, table of contents so for now this part shall be blank so it has it should be another one it shall be blank so once we are done the document then I'll show you how to insert a table of contents automatically when you are uh, typing it or uh, doing it manually. So we can move to the next section. The next section is list of figures. Again, this is just the same with uh, the table of contents. I will show you how to insert it once we have actually had all those list of figures. So let us change it. Uh, of tables and then we make it to be the door again insert a page break next section is a uh, acknowledgement so just type it acknowledgement make it to be the door the sample of an acknowledgement script then which you can uh, you can uh, make the changes in case you need to make any changes so here is an example one so you can just pause the video pass through this script after that then you can figure out how to make it uh, your own make some changes so that it suits your needs so from there we move on to the next section first insert a page break the next section is uh, abbreviations. So these are the common uh, short form of, uh, of words that you shall be using. So let us make it uh, down. So here is a sample of uh, the most common ones that I know shall be part of uh, our system. So CD, RAM, I know they shall be used when we shall be constructing the system so these are some of it move on to the next section insert a page break the next section is a dedication type it one then uh, convert it to the one then from there here is a sample of a dedication script so here it is, you can uh, make some changes to it so that uh, it looks uh, familiar to your your line, like uh, make it do more spelling or acceptable because this is just a bland, so just to show you how an acknowledgement can look like. So this is not, uh, not an acknowledgement or dedication, this, not, this must not be something uh, long or what. What I need to take a lot of time is a chapter one which we shall be covering next in uh, part two. But for part one, I think we are done, everything is perfect. So, here it is. In fact, let me just uh, show you. I can insert the table of contents because I already have a number, a number of. Uh, So we go to references. If you want to insert the table of contents references, then here under the table of contents tab, so click here on the arrow down, then wait for it. After there, you choose uh, between these uh, built in uh, table of contents types. So I usually choose uh, the second one, but you can go with whichever is you think is right. So you shall go with the second one, then uh, you can use it to this. Uh, there is no need of it so here is the table of contents which has automatically been generated for us so the declaration table of contents itself the list of figures list of tables acknowledgement abbreviation and delegation
I need to make some changes here because the dedication should be page one. So it will just make the changes. So this one, this uh, title page should not be counted as a as page one when uh, getting the system. So I'm going to show you a quick uh, way of making it better. So that I just need to copy all of this. After copying it, we come here in the insert, then you insert a cover page. So when you use a cover page, it will not uh, be listed as a, as a page, as a page when uh, numbering is done in the table of contents. Let me use this template. Then just type any words here because we are going to delete every these unwanted aspects from there. Come back, select this one, and then paste your original text that we had copied earlier. So let us now delete this one so it is not of use to us now. update the table of contents you come here click on here then click on update table and now it's now updated and see the creation is on page one so that is it next is the insert of page numbers so i'm going to put any lines on that one before we move on let me get the last bit of it so for us to be able to let me just create a dummy so for us to be able to to create a uh, different page numbers that is uh, as a requirement the page number should not be one so the page number should be roman numbers not uh, the alphabetical numbers there should be no roman number that is roman one roman two again so that is for the top part when you start from chapter one that is where we need to start using the alphabetical numbers that is one two and three going on so to do that, first we come with the layout, then under the page and setup, we go to breaks, then here under section break, click on next page. Remember you must do it on the last part, that is the dedication page. The dedication page, so do it there. So click there, then under breaks, click on next page. So after that, that's how you actually split the, your document into two into two major pages so that is this the top page and these are the bottom page so let me just show you we will come here under home and we turn on this uh, paragraph so it will actually show us here because you can see the page is actually split from this part from this part so these are different section and down here is a different section just turn this on off so we come back to insert, insert a footer, inside the footer, just choose any, I prefer this one, so that the numbers are at the center, as you can see, this one is actually automatically going to the other one, so let's just be inserting here, so this one, insert footer, again, go to this part i prefer this one so as you can see the page numbers is indicating seven but the page number should be let me change the, uh, the color the page number should be it should be in roman numbers not alphabetical numbers so to change that we need to go to insert then under page numbers click there then go to format page number so over here we need just to change this on the number format from the numerical part to the roman part so then uh, start at one then click ok so now i think we are okay as you can see now the roman numbers then here is where we shall be having the chapter one in which uh, we shall be continuing this in the next uh, in part two so chapter one is actually part two first part two of the documentation part after we have actually completed the part two of uh, the database so first after this video the next video will be about the 
that tag is part of uh, creating your tables. Then from there, you see when we shall come back to the documentation and do the chapter one part. So let me just show you the difference. So here, as you can see, you need to modify it also. So you come here to insert, then uh, page number, then format. Then under format, you can see here, then start. Start at one now. So you create start at one, then OK. So as you can see from here, the documentation, uh, the second part of the page starts from page one. So we also need to modify that at, the, at our table of contents. So we move back, table of contents, click the table content click on this table so i get entire table then okay as you can see now the number system is actually changed this is how nec yeah, says we sh the naming should be should be done uh, the numbering convention should be done like that so that is how the numbering convention should be done so we are building this document if you want to do any references and leave a link in the description part so you can download it and uh, reference it if you have any challenges. Also, you can feel free to contact me via the email on the left side of the video or the phone number on the right side of the video, either by calling, texting, or through WhatsApp. Any. So, thank you for your time. And this is, has been the part one of our documentation. So, be sure to subscribe the channel so that you don't miss uh, the next part which uh, we shall be continuing with the same system until we complete the system thank you